Days before kids go back to school, teachers are resigning in record numbers. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph spoke with one of those teachers today and explains why she doesn't feel like she can go back. Kathy Gray is a teacher who is getting fined a thousand dollars for leaving too close to the beginning of the school year. A lot of different school districts, not only in Utah, but across the country are doing this. But she says she wouldn't have resigned if she felt safe and she felt safe for her students as well. And I worked really, really hard to get here because it was my dream. Kathy Gray is a sixth grade teacher in the Granite School District. Walking away from this profession is the hardest thing I have ever done. And like many other teachers, she's leaving a job she loves because of COVID-19. And I would not do it if I did not think that it was in the best interest of kids and in schools in general. Safety is her top priority. I wouldn't be able to keep kids safe at the level that their parents were expecting me to keep them safe. Teachers like Gray are now being fined $1,000 if they resign after a certain date. However, I did expect them to waive it under this current situation. The Granite School District is one of those districts that's fining teachers. They issued a statement that says in part, quote, teachers had almost a week or up to three weeks to opt out of the school year without penalty. We are committed as a school district to provide the safest environment for our students and employees and we would never walk out on a class unless it was absolutely imperative to the health of ourselves or our students. According to our content partners at the Salt Lake Tribune, 79 teachers have resigned in Salt Lake County, at least 16 within this last week. Granite School District has the highest resignations at 32, with 12 retirements on top of that. Other districts have also seen resignations, but Salt Lake School District has none. They'll be holding classes entirely online this fall. Teachers like Gray aren't seeing resignations just here in the Salt Lake Valley. So I am a member of some grassroots organizations for both my district, my state, and the country. What I am seeing is that it's utter chaos right now. So as the year approaches, she's telling her fellow educators. Make sure your administrators totally understand that you want to be 100% safe. This is not the time to be polite. This is the time to stand up and say this is unsafe and I should not be in an unsafe situation. Most school districts in Salt Lake County start next week, the week of August 24th. Murray and Canyon School District start tomorrow. If you want to see that full statement from Granite School District, you can go to our website, fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.